How can a small YouTube channel rank for highly competitive keywords and compete with big channels? In this video, you'll discover the secret to ranking your videos for popular searches and the tools you can use to save time so you can grow your channel fast. For example, this video currently ranks number one on YouTube search for the highly competitive keyword phrase, how to find a YouTube channel, which I originally didn't target from the beginning. Instead, I targeted a less competitive keyword phrase, how to find a YouTube channel without knowing the name and can easily rank for that particular keyword phrase. As a result, I can easily rank for that particular keyword phrase in YouTube search and also in Google search. Stay tuned throughout the video so you can learn the steps on how to achieve top rankings for highly competitive keywords, even if you're a small channel. Step one, find a highly competitive keyword phrase you wish to rank for. You can find these phrases by looking at the videos that get the most traffic on your competitors' channels. You can also look at your top 10 videos on YouTube Analytics and look at the top keyword phrases that got the most traffic for those videos. Step two, use TubeBuddy to find related keyword phrases that are less competitive. I'll place a link to TubeBuddy in the description below this video. Use promo code HermansBuddy to get 20% off any paid upgrade. Enter your main keyword phrase in the Keyword Explorer tool of TubeBuddy. In this case, I've got how to find a YouTube video. Immediately, you'll get a bunch of related suggestions. You can use these suggestions to create a series of related videos and put them in a playlist. As you can see, this main keyword phrase only gets an overall unweighted score of fair. So I want to get either very good or excellent. Number of videos and search results is 201 million and number of monthly searches is 300. On the right here, I've got related searches, such as how to find a YouTube video you can't remember, how to find a YouTube video with a picture, etc. So I'm gonna choose how to find a YouTube video you can't remember. Now the overall unweighted score has changed to excellent, which means it's a very good phrase to target for my video. It says the keyword isn't too competitive and it has enough search volume to make it worth targeting. Now it's got number of videos and search results, 54.6 million, which is much less than my main keyword phrase. You want to repeat the same process for all the related keyword phrases that contain your main keyword phrase. Step three, create a list of related keyword phrases that contain your main keyword phrase. Repeat the keyword research process that I outlined in step two to find related keyword phrases that contain a high keyword score. The purpose of doing this is to dominate the search rankings for these related keyword phrases so it'll be easier to rank for your main keyword phrase. Step four, create an engaging video that has a high audience retention rate. YouTube says you can increase the chance of YouTube suggesting your content by increasing your click-through rate and your video watch time. A high watch time means that you're keeping your viewers engaged throughout your video. Some of the things you can do to create high engagement for your video is to create a strong hook at the beginning. You can do this by asking a question or teasing what's coming up next in your video. Another thing you can do is reset the attention of your viewers by adding B-roll, transitions, text overlays and graphics. If you have a short video, you can link to your next best video to increase the session time of that video. Ultimately, your content throughout your video has to keep your viewers engaged. Number five, create a clickable thumbnail. Your thumbnail is the first thing people see when they're searching for that particular topic in the search engines. Your thumbnail is also competing with many others who are targeting the same keyword phrase. For example, if your video appears in suggested videos, which are the videos that appear on the right side of the watch page, the viewer will choose the best thumbnail to click on the video. If your thumbnail stands out from where your competitors' thumbnails, then a viewer is more likely to click on your thumbnail and watch your video. Before you create your thumbnail, enter your keyword phrase in YouTube search and look at the top five or 10 thumbnails before you create your own thumbnail. Create a different design by using different colors, images, and text. Usually I create two or three different thumbnails and split test them to see which one gets the most traffic. I'll place a link in the description on how you can split test your thumbnails using TubeBuddy. Number six, create a title that supports your thumbnail. Your thumbnail and title work together to win the click from your viewer. Your goal is to get a high click-through rate on YouTube videos. According to YouTube, most videos get a click-through rate between two and 10%. So try to shoot for over 2% and aim for 10%. Make sure you place your main keyword phrase at the beginning of your title. My main keyword phrase is how to find a YouTube video, but that's too competitive. So I chose a related keyword phrase, how to find a YouTube video you can't remember, which is less competitive. Repeat this process for all the related keyword phrases you're making videos for, so you can dominate the search engines for those related keyword phrases. Number seven, link to your next best video. Instead of leaving your viewers hanging at the end of your video, 
link to your next best video in the card or end screen. The content of your next best video should support the content of the video that your viewer has just watched. You should place that video link in the first three lines of your description and also pin it to the top of your comments so when someone leaves a comment they'll be able to see your video link in that first comment. The purpose of linking to your next best video is to increase your watch time so you'll get into suggested videos which is free promotion by YouTube. Ideally you want to create a series of related videos and put them in a playlist then link to the video in that playlist at the end of each video. This will encourage your viewers to binge watch the videos in the playlist. Number eight, share your video on YouTube and social media sites. YouTube encourages you to share your video on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, etc. This helps your video content get exposed to new audiences. On YouTube, you can create a community post to share it with your subscribers. You can add a video, add a poll, or add an image, and you can even schedule your community posts. Community posts also get picked up by the search engines. Keep in mind that only creators who have over 1,000 subscribers have access to community posts. You can also create a 15 second YouTube story that promotes a hot tip from your long form video. I post hot YouTube tips every day on my YouTube stories, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification icon so you'll be notified about my stories and my videos. Keep in mind that YouTube stories will appear on the YouTube app when viewers are scrolling YouTube on their phones. You can also create a 15 to 60 second shorts video that promotes a tip from your long form video then link to it at the end of that video. Viewers will also see your YouTube shorts on the short shelf when they're scrolling on the YouTube app on their phones. Step nine, track your results in YouTube analytics. Click on the reach tab in YouTube analytics to look at impressions, impressions click through rate, views and unique views. Impressions is a total number of times your video thumbnail was shown to viewers since the video was published. This measures how often viewers watch the video after seeing an impression. Unique viewers is the estimated number of people that watch your video in a selected date range. If you click on the engagement tab, you can see the audience retention for that specific video, which breaks down to average view duration and average percentage viewed. You'll also be able to see the key moments for audience retention. The introduction is where viewers are still watching your video after 30 seconds. Spikes in a graph means that more people are watching that part of the video than previous parts. Dips in a graph means that fewer viewers are watching that part of the video compared to previous parts. If a video in your playlist series of related videos is getting a lot of traffic, move that video to the front of your playlist. This will motivate viewers to continue watching more of your videos in the playlist. Step 10, repeat the steps one to nine so you can rank for highly competitive keywords. Your ultimate goal is to dominate the rankings for all your related keyword phrases so you can rank for that main keyword phrase. Another goal is to get into suggested videos so you get free promotion by YouTube. Watch the video on the screen right now on how to get discovered on YouTube via suggested videos. You'll learn how to get your videos freely promoted by YouTube.